Hey guys, it's Marshall from Goey Gear, and in this video we're going to take a look at some of our larger Cree XML lights that are meant more as throwers, so they're going to be meant to light things up at a distance. In a previous video we took a look at some of the lights that are meant more for up close kind of stuff. Uh, they're smaller lights, more tactical kind of lights, so in this one we're going to look at the larger thrower kind of lights. We have in-depth videos on all of these if you want to see more of an in-depth look. We're going to do a quick and dirty on each one show you the different beam profiles and then take them outside and show you how they do outside. So we're going to start off, tell you what they are. You got the Phoenix TK35, Through Night Catapult V3 with that Cree XML in there, and the Olight M3X. So let's start off with the TK35, show you this one more up close. Phoenix TK35, most compact out of the bunch, has the smallest reflector out of all of them. You can see not the largest reflector on this guy, so doesn't have as good of throw as the other two, but does a really good job of lighting up everything in front of you. Obviously, is a little bit more manageable size. Really cool interface on this one. You have two switches here on the back. Big main one, smaller secondary one. Big main one, lightly press it. You have your momentary activation. Click it all the way. You have the constant on. Secondary one is going to switch your outputs. So you can see you have four different outputs to choose between. and then press and hold and you have some flashing modes. So you have your strobe and then SOS. And you can cycle between those. And then press and hold and it'll get you back into your regular illumination. Phoenix TK35. Next up is the biggest and burliest one of the bunch, the Through Night Catapult V3. Uh, this is the new one with the XML LED. It's one switch on the back, just slightly press it. You have your momentary activation. Press it all the way for constant on. As long as your head is tightened, you're always going to have max output. One thing to note real quick is that the part that you loosen to switch between modes is this right here. So this is what you want to be loosening, not this up here. If you're loosening this, then all you're doing is taking off the head and the reflector. It's not going to change modes on you, so you want to loosen this part right here. So head tightened, always max output. Loosen the head, that's where your secondary modes are. And if you just Turn it off and on, or just lightly press the switch, it'll switch between. You have three other outputs, three lower outputs, and then your strobe. And it has a memory, so whatever one you leave it on, when you tighten the head and then put it back, it's going to remember whatever it was that you had it on last. That is the Through Night Catapult V3. Next up is the Olight M3X. Uh, similar features and functions to the Catapult, but it's in a little bit slimmer and lighter body, so if you per prefer something that's a little bit easier to carry, lighter weight, then the M3X is the way to go. Same one switch on the back, so lightly press it, momentary activation, click it all the way for constant on. Different modes, loosen the head, and you have a lower output, and then if you loosen and tighten the head, or tighten and loosen the head, depending on which mode you're in, that's how you get into your strobe and then just tighten back to get into the other output or like I was in low before now if I loosen and tighten that's how I get into the strobe so you can do it from either head tightened or head loosened you can get right into the strobe and then just loosen to get back into whatever you want or tighten depending on which mode you're in now one thing I'll note about a couple of these lights is that obviously the TK35 that's the only configuration you can use it in no extension tubes or anything like that but these two actually have extension tubes on them so this one, the M3X, you can remove this part right here and then it'll take either three CR123s or two 18500 batteries. Through Night Catapult, you can remove the extension tube, it'll become a shorter light and it'll run off of two CR123s. Um, by default, they all run off of either four CR123s or two 18650s in the configuration they kind of have, in, have intended them for, but uh, these two you can drop in to the smaller modes um, or the smaller models, you don't get the same output, it's a little bit lower output. Um, on the Catapult, uh, it's going to be the same output on the M3X regardless of how you have it set up. So those are the three lights. We're going to go ahead and take these outside and we'll show you how all three of them do outside. Alright, you guys always complain that I never do any indoor beam shots, so uh, special occasion, here are some indoor beam shots for you. Keep in mind that I don't have this white balanced, so the colors are not going to be accurate. And this is a beige wall, not a white wall. So uh, just keep that in mind when you're looking at the colors. The, uh, the M3X and the TK35 don't look quite that bad. Uh, but anyway, that is the TK35 on the right, catapult in the middle, 
M3X on the left. So you can see really focused beams on all of them, um, especially the catapult and the M3X. All right, let's go ahead and take these outside and see how they do outside. All right, we got those big XML thrower lights out here. We're gonna be comparing them to the big 4D mag light that I have. Distance shot that I like to use, pine tree in my front yard. Let's go ahead and try out that mag light, see how it does. Lights up my house about 50 yards away. Does that okay? Not great, pretty uh, dirty, uneven beam, and that's at the most focused. And then tree in the front yard, 100 yards away, doesn't really touch that. All right, let's try out those other lights, see how they do. First up, got the Phoenix TK35. Let's try that one out. There you can see, 100 yards, no problem at all for this light. Let's zoom in on that. Shine it around just a little bit. You can see nice clean even beam lights up that obnoxious amount of pollen flying through the air that's uh giving me a killer headache <laughs> lights up all that really really well shining around just a little bit i'll show you the different outputs there's the low just to show you that it is on there it is back on that back on that max output again so 100 yards no problem for the tk35 all right, next up we have the Through Night Catapult. Let's try that one out. You can see it's more focused on this one. You're going to get better throw out of it because it has a little bit larger reflector and you can see it's more focused. So once you have it pointed at, you know, 100 yards, absolutely no problem with this. You need to do two, three, 400 yards, still no problem with this. You can do that pretty easily on a uh, clear night. <laughs> this is a bad example for a night. The pollen is uh, kind of ruining ruining the distance shine it around just a little bit zoom in on that again just so you can see lights up details really really well all right last up we have the Olight M3X Let's see how it does there you go you can see it's pretty focused as well 100 yards, no problem for it. Lights up the tree really, really well. You can see all the details, absolutely no problem. Of course, 50 yards is no problem. Shine it around just a little bit. You get an idea of how it does. Different distances. You see how well it lights up the pollen. <laughs> Hopefully that's not a reoccurring theme in uh, my next few videos. You guys might not hear from me after this. And then we'll do some of them side by side. So we're going to have the M3X on the left, Catapult on the right. You see, both pretty focused. They both do really well at this kind of distance. In my testing, I've seen maybe just a slight edge to the M3X. Not a huge edge, though. They both do really well at a distance. And then we'll keep the M3X up and then uh, put up the TK35. There you go. You can see the larger hot spot on that TK35. Light up a wider area at once, but it's not going to be quite as concentrated, not quite as bright as you get on the M3X and the Catapult. So all right, those are the Thrower XML lights that we currently carry. If you have any questions about them, you can reach us in the comments or at goinggear.com. If you like the video, be sure to subscribe. We do stuff like this all the time. And if you like any of the lights, you can get them from us at goinggear.com.